so this is the video that I want to do. Um, we are, I'm at the food trailer, so you hear our generator running. This is early morning, so we I can get a chance to get this video done before um, customers start coming. Already did our sides and everything. My husband is on the grill grilling, and this is. Um, the video I wanted to do about what we had to do to get started. Your, yours may be different, maybe similar prices may, you know, be different. I'm not giving prices or anything. I'm just telling you the steps that we did. So hopefully this helps you in getting started. So first, we um, called the state of Florida Department of Business and Profession Regulation Division of Hotel and Restaurant. It's a long name. It is online. You can look it up and pull up that information for being able to get started. It has a whole list. You can print it out. It has a list of everything that you have to do to get started. It has the fees. Um, because you have to have an application fee and then you know as far as what trailer size and everything that you know you plan on doing in the county and state that you live in that will work best for you so after we did that we did that application and did that <clears throat> we um, had to figure out what kind of trailer we wanted if you want a food truck or you want a food trailer. Whenever you make that decision, you have to do a floor plan and they need to know where everything is. So whenever it's time for you to be inspected, they want that floor plan to look exactly like your trailer. It can't have something, the table with the, the bar over here and then it's supposed to be over there and the stove down there. Everything has to be precise or you might have to go through that process again or they have to come back out or you have to do the floor plan over and it causes you to have to wait and not be able to get started as quickly as you want to. So your floor plan has to match whenever the um, inspector comes out to check your trailer, whenever that time comes. So whenever you have, what the Florida Department of Business and Regulation, what they're gonna let you know is what they let us know is what our state required. Your state may require something different. Every state is different. Um, the, your three compartment sink, you have to have your label, it has to be labeled and all that hand wash sink and all the different things. You know how much um, wastewater and um, clean water you have to have, how many gallons, you know, everything is different. So make sure you go to that website first. The state of Florida Department of Business, maybe it's the state of Georgia Department of Business, the state of um, Illinois Department of Business, wherever your state is, make sure you know all of that before you get started on your food trailer. That's why I say go there first. Go to that website first, whichever state you're in, so you will know what um, you need to do, because you don't want to start doing your trailer and find out oh my gosh I have to do this and I have to do that that's wasted money um, the next step we did was you want to have your safe serve certificate I always say it wrong serve safe certificate that is something that you could do at the beginning also because when you have your inspection, they're gonna to want to know if you have that. Um, I've heard that they give you 30 days, each state is different, so I don't know um, if they'll give you that amount of time. Florida, um, I've heard that they give you 30 days after your inspection to have it. And it's according to when they give the test. That is something that you have to have because that's going to tell you about your food temperature, you know, how to, you know, keep your 
trailer, what your water temperature is supposed to be, the food in the refrigerator, what your refrigerator, refrigerator is supposed to be set at, if you're warming food or if you're keeping food um, for another day, you know, and not, you know, disposing of everything. We don't um, keep food the next day. We give to a shelter or um, homeless. We don't um, do the carry over because it's just, you know, too much paperwork, too much time consuming for us. So we just start fresh the next day. Um, so we're only open three days a week. So that's how that works for us. As far as um, your inspection, if you are saving food for another day, you will have two inspections in the state of Florida. You will have two inspections a year. We only have one because we don't save food, you know, for another time. And it's also according to what you cook. We don't cook fish or seafood products, or we don't, and we don't do um, beef. We do. Um, we do brisket, but it's we're not doing hamburgers and you know you have to make sure they're well done and all this other stuff and everything. So with say with Surf Safe, it gives you all the information about how you're supposed to um, keep your trailer and what you're supposed to do. If you do certain things, you have to have those. If you have certain things in your food, like if you're doing fish and all that, and using nuts and all that, you have to have that displayed on your um, trailer. So if someone comes up with allergies or anything and all that stuff, so that is what um, Serve Safe is and the cleanliness and the sanitizer and washing your hands and the rinse water and all that. All that is with Safe Serve and it's so great. You only need one Safe Serve. So you only need one serve safe certificate um, per four or five people in the state of Florida. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's four. Um, to in an establishment or food trailer. And then you need a safe staff certificate for each person who works in your establishment. And that would be something that the serve safe holder of the certificate can give to, you know, to give that, you know, test to those employees. Um, it's just my husband and myself, so we only have one serve safe certificate and one safe ser safe staff certificate. So um, that was, you know, all that was required of us. And we have a yearly inspection which they come in and check, you know, everything, make sure everything is working properly. When they come, everything is on, you know, the hot water is already ready and he, they want to check and see, you know, how things are going, you know. We've been doing it for a couple of years, so it's been going pretty good. So with that, I took some notes, so I'm going to make sure I'm telling everything. So once you get your trailer, um, made and all that then you would contact you know um the state of florida department of business and let them know so they can um send out for the inspection to be done um it's it's up to how long it's going to take you or your process with that before they the inspector come out you'll get a call and they'll talk to you about what your menu is going to be what you're going to be cooking and you know um where you're going to store your trailer where you're going to be located you know what is your plans for your trailer and all those different type questions it's more questions but that's pretty much the the gist of what they'll be asking we are at a location this is our location for our um, trailer so we went we had to get our I showed this before we're a roadside vendor so we had to do extra stuff to be able to be a roadside vendor um, in the state of Florida and I'm quite sure that's also in other states I've heard um, 
some people say they just get a permit just to be at a certain location. We are at this location, so, like if they wanted to go cook at this location, they're here today, tomorrow they're someplace else, so they get different permits for different cities definitely have a permit you just can't go park someplace and start selling I'm quite sure you all know that because you'll be fine and that's a lot of money we haven't experienced that because I want to go by the book I don't want to have any issues so with our roadside vending we had to go to the DMV and we had to get our inform uh, we had to get our property tax our business tax um, paperwork so we can have um, that with going to the IRS and getting our tax number for our business to be able to run our business because we charge tax and that money goes straight to the IRS and we pay quarterly you do you don't want to mess around with not paying your taxes because you don't want to have that issue um also um the dmv with the business um the county business tax irs to get your tax number so you'll be able to um pay your taxes and as far as um with our roadside vendor we had to get um, once everything is done with everything, we got our business license after we were inspected and it, you know, came out and everything was done. Hey, got your business license. They gave us a printout. It was like, uh, I'll say, uh, something you have until your business license actually comes. So once they inspect you and everything is good, you're ready to go for business. Then you have your... Um, business license that actually comes so when that came we had to have for our roadside vending we had to have our business license um, we had to get a bond and that had to be paid in full for and that's for the property that we're on just in case something happens to the property also um, we had to have liability insurance in case you know we have a problem with a customer or something happens they get sick or something you know and DMV tax information the IRS information um, we didn't have to show that we had insurance but we do have insurance on our trailer just in case we get in an accident if something is stolen something happens or whatever we have that other insurance um, you know people always think oh you have a food trailer so there's no overhead all these things has have fees and it's prices with all these things that we had to have for our roadside vending all that has to be paid for a year because they don't want to do you you they don't want you to be able to have to say oh i'm doing monthly payments they don't do that because they want to know everything is covered for the year you come out and do your roadside vending you don't have any issues everything is done they don't do um, monthly payments so that is something that you have to think about to have all those fees and everything taken care of before you um, are able to start or you could just do um, certain locations you don't have to go through all that with the roadside vending this is our location for you know the time that we have it so we don't have to worry about we renew every year we don't have to worry about you know okay can I go to this spot I got to talk to these people I talk to these people it's good yes it's good business because a lot of people excuse me go out and do business like that so that would be um, beneficial for them also um, as far as advertisement where we do Facebook we do Instagram and um, it's you know under our business name we don't do paid advertisement because there's so much you could get out there for doing free. We're trying to save money, not spend money. You know, we had someone come to us and wanted us to do um, radio advertisement, and it was like $1,000 a month. 
really? Mm -mm, that's not happening. Not, <laughs> not in this lifetime. Um, because, you know, your food is word of mouth. You know, most people talk about it. Oh my gosh, did you hear about this? Oh my gosh, did you hear about this food? So, you know, you get your word of mouth, you talk. And my husband is a, a, a great salesperson. I'm not. I'd rather do the um, social media because I'm not good at chatting it up with people and talking and selling something and telling them about. You know, if I come across somebody and I give them a business card, and it's always good to have business cards. We um, got those, so that is something good. And it lets you lets people know that you are serious about your business. So, in the look, we got the design on the truck and our trailer. You saw our um, propane tank. My husband has it as it looks like a um, bottle of um, barbecue sauce. Um, so, you know, the look is appealing. When people come up to your trailer, you want to make sure it's clean and, you know, Monday through Friday, an inspector could come up. You want to make sure everything is clean constantly, you know, wiping down your cabinets and, you know, keeping your um, area swept and clean because it can get busy. After we have a rush, it just looked like a wind just blew through here. And then that's when we got to stop and regroup and get everything cleaned up and everything and we start fresh again. So um, we are giving bits and pieces of our day trying to. Um, show you how our process is. It's, uh, it's, it's fun. My husband and I've been doing this, like I said, for um, my husband's been cooking for 30 years. Um, and we've had, he's had other jobs, and I have, I've been cooking for a long time. But as far as us having our business, we've been doing this for a couple of years now, and this has been going great. You know, it's um, interesting working with your spouse. So we're you know together almost um all the time unless he's out running some errands or i'm doing some things if i did not cover something or i did not say something just put it in the comments and i will definitely respond um or my husband will respond let us know i hope this was informal to you and you got some information. Remember, this is what we had to go through in the state of Florida. Um, your state could be different, but I just wanted to come on and get this, you know, information out. I've done this video a few times and it seemed like I keep forgetting things and not saying stuff. So I hope I have all, you know, the information um, in here for you all um, to know how to at least get started on your business. It is fun. It's it's as fun as you make it, you know. And it is some hard work, you know. It's it's not like oh get up, hey here we go, we're making money. It's work. It is a work um, process. We get up extra early in the morning and you know start you know our cooking and everything. People wonder why we're here so early. You don't, you don't have breakfast. We're thinking about doing breakfast maybe in the future. They're like, why are you so early? We have to cook. You just can't pull up on the site and say, oh, hey, food is ready. Unless we cook it someplace else. But, you know, we come to our site so we can cook and already be here. So whenever we're moving, things are not, you know, all over the place. So that's our process. Um, everybody's different, you know. Some people do their things different. We cook everything in-house and we want it to be fresh and good for our customers. So that's how we do it. Um, thank you for watching. I hope and pray that you got the information that you needed. If not, put it in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. And we look forward to hearing from you. Be blessed and start your business. You can do it. Thank you.